I'm doing something shady. No, I'm not. I just threw a painting at my car. It's my car and my painting. Well, not, not, not my painting, actually. Hello reformers and welcome back to Thief Simulator. Now we are going to need to move a little bit quickly here because there's a, someone that uh, kind of thinks that I might be a bit suspicious but we don't have to worry about him just yet because I have a car window to break. We're gonna, yeah, well, pick up where we left off and uh, well, let's see if I'm able to actually get in here without having too many problems. So let me See if I can use this to open the door. Bear in mind that there is one resident crouching in a weird place. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so apparently the one resident in here is still kind of chilling out, so that's all good with me. And I'm able to go down the stairs, no problem at all, and get into the garage. Yes. Okay, so, uh, hmm, I should probably pick up some stuff, shouldn't I? Because I'm going to run away with basically nothing but just the story mission having been done. But I'd like to get out of here. I mean, the, the police are going to be here any time, like instantly, basically. Okay, there we go. Request done. It's possible to climb to the second floor on... Oh! She doesn't even know? She doesn't even know that I, I've done that. Okay, well, that's amazing. I actually thought that that would have caused quite the ruckus, but I, I suppose that doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, give me your candlesticks. Thanks. And I'll take uh, your your uh, DVD player or whatever that thing is. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to open a couple of these things. And we're going to see if there's anything in here. Origami. Oh, very nice. A Rubik's Cube. Okay, well, I guess I am going to take your speaker. Yes. I need a new speaker. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, that's it. Yeah, I guess that's all that I can really take. I'm going to be careful not to be seen and uh, chuck that speaker down the stairs. There we go. Because it's indestructible. That's exactly the reason why we must steal it. And there's a weird thing going on with the stairs here. I don't exactly know what's going on with that, but all right. Okay, and uh, we're done. There you go. Okay, so that would have been very easy to do in the ending of the previous episode, but obviously, ah, uh, yeah, you know, not, uh, not particularly, uh, sure why the, uh, you know, why the window breaking was relatively silent. Maybe she would, maybe she's a, a, you know, a deep sleeper. That might make sense. But otherwise, this fellow thought I was suspicious carrying a speaker, and, uh, who knows, maybe I'm moving house, you know, maybe I'm moving house and I need to take this one speaker with me. That might be legit right kind of maybe no yes well anyway let's uh chuck that in there close the back door and we're gonna go out of here and let's hope that i don't cause a traffic accident because that will call the police so that's not very good otherwise i think we're done and that will mean that we can progress with the story mission now and if you'd like to check out this game by the way there is a link in the description otherwise let's go to the pawn shop and i am going to be selling the speaker and we're also going to get very nice we're going to get a little bit of experience and an s rating very nice okay so that's good and we are now being yes we're now being called by Vinny. greenview 108 spends way too much time in front of the tv be a good neighbor and help him out Right, so we're going to need to steal his TV. I'm, I'm going to steal it, because I think stealing it adds that whole extra level of difficulty, and I think breaking it might be a bit too easy, but it really depends. I haven't, Build I don't think I've ever gone in to 108 just yet, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that goes. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what I should do with this stuff here. I think I am going to sell everything with the exception of the receiver. I, I'm, I, I, th I guess that's digital TV or something. And what we're going to do is I'm going to check Black Bay just in case that it sells for, uh, well, it sells for 180 at the pawn shop. So it should sell for 360 from Black Bay, if that is even listed. But I guess you won't know unless you try it out. So let's see, electronics. Nope, there's a headset, a radio, router, microwave, and a damaged U-phone. Yes, 
Yes, a damaged U phone. Okay, yeah, so it seems like it is not available anywhere else, which is kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen that, but oh well, never mind. This does give me an opportunity to take a look at 108. They are the tailors. And you can see here that I can actually purchase their tenant routines for $350. I think I'm going to do that because at least we'll then know immediately what's going on. There is only one person between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Oh, okay. And there's also a possible loot location. I guess I'll take that as well. And we do have rent a thug, you know, quick jobs here. So I don't exactly know what I should do, but let's see if there's one for 108. No, there isn't one for 108, but there are two $300 ones for the Wilsons. And that requires me to break their toilet, break their wine glasses. Why? I, I don't know. I, I, I guess maybe uh, maybe the Mafia has a uh, plumbing service or something, and maybe a wine connoisseur in the area, and they want, they want to sell them some extra toilets and wine glasses. That's probably it. Anyway, I'm going to accept both of those. And maybe we can do both of them at the same time. That's, an, that's a cool 600 right there. And now we have $745 remaining. Okay, so, uh, hmm, yes, probably, actually, let me go to steal your forums once again, because I think it's going to be pretty interesting to get another tenant routine for the Wilsons, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be required. And we are going to get $600 from the task, as well as all kinds of miscellaneous loot. And having the tenant routines without having to do your own research. If you want to do that, then of course you can. But personally, I feel like it's just a little bit easier to do it this way. And uh, yeah, if you want to spend that additional time, then of course you can do your own thing and you can Build surveil the there. targets however you like. Anyway, I'm going to sell this receiver here. It takes a huge amount of space in my backpack. And speaking of my backpack, let's go over to our skills and get some new ones. So what do we have here? Appraise more items on the spot. I don't really want to do that. Climbing vines, that would be... I think I already have that, don't I? Don't I already have that? Yeah, I think I already have that. So nothing really to worry about here, but I am going to get 25% more backpack space. I personally feel like that's really, really important. I'm going to try and get an additional 25% backpack space as well if I don't need lockpicking level 4, which I think I'm going to need. And it requires two skill points as well to open safes and use the glass knife to get through windows without breaking them. So that's a very important skill to get indeed. Otherwise, let's make our way to the neighborhood. All right, so before we head in to uh, the 107 uh, residency, we're going to take a look and see exactly what their routines are like. Okay, so both of them are out from 8 a.m. That is fantastic. That means that we have all of it to ourselves, and we don't even need to... I don't think we even need to cause a ruckus. I don't think we are going to get detected at least... I hope not, because breaking their toilet and wine glasses, it's not going to be too loud if the car breaking window thing is anything to go by. But there is going to be a slight problem. There is still someone in the residence. And uh, wait a minute. Why are, they, why, why are they all there? Why, why are they still all there? I waited until 8 a.m. Wait a minute. No, wait. This is 108. I need to go to 107. Oh, my bad. I, oh, yes. I, you can tell that I'm a very organized thief indeed, aren't I? Okay, so let me just see if I can get in here somehow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to make a move because they're really not away for too long. And, uh, well, this is going to be kind of harsh. This is a... Oh, yeah, there's, there's obviously someone watching over here. Oh, yes, great. Good work. Okay, well, I guess I could just check around the side. Ah, yes. There are vines. Fantastic. Get me over there. All right, this is great. Okay, so there is a lot of cash next to the front door, apparently. That's pretty nice. Okay, so... Ah, yes. I'm so thankful that I got that auto lockpick now. It is so easy to use. All right, get me in there. Hello. All right. Oh, uh, there's a printer. I'm not going to carry that. There is a lot of cash. Oh, wow. There is a lot of cash. Look at this. 50, 150, 50. Wow. Why would you leave all of this just lying around for anyone to take? Oh, well. Okay. So I need to break their wine glasses and their toilet. So let me very quickly go and do that. Uh, one of them is coming back pretty soon. Request is done. Where's the wine glasses? Uh, seems like... Oh, they're over there. They're in the garden? Are you serious? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to... 
Uh, I still have a pretty decent amount of time. I have half time remaining until one of them returns. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about that, but I do have to worry about people seeing me. Because they can see me through the fence. I need to be pretty careful about that, but I can run away pretty easily, I think, so... There we go. Okay, so that request is now done as well, and I think I'm gonna get out of here. Actually... You know what? I'm gonna steal some stuff. Let's steal the coffee machine, the microwave, this is all gonna sell for a pretty decent amount. <laughs> These things, probably not so much, the teapot and everything, but... Yes, I think it's... Better than nothing, and I now have a full bag, so that's good, and I can now leave through the same way that I came in. And we're good. There we go. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I will not be able to do anything here just yet, but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go to the uh, go to the shop and I'm going to sell a whole bunch of the stuff that I have here and well, we'll hopefully get a little bit of extra experience as well. All right, so the coffee machine sold for $350, so very much worth doing that. And uh, otherwise, we have leveled up again, so let's have a look here. I have one skill point. What do I want to take? Well, I've leveled basically into everything that I can, with the exception of appraisal level 1. And I need level 9 to be able to get the backpack thing. I need, well, carry big items faster, level 9. Everything seems to unlock at level 9, so... I suppose what I could do is basically just save my skill point here because appraisal I'm not a I'm not entirely sure how good this really is with the exception of appraisal level 2 being able to disassemble jewelry with special tools. I think that could be pretty useful, but for the moment I don't see that as being that useful in comparison to lockpicking level 4 for example, so I think I'm just going to save that and otherwise we're going to interact with the computer and maybe there will be some additional things that we can buy. I have climbing gloves right here so I could climb extra things or I could just save my money. I have 1800 right now which is pretty decent. Maybe we could do something else like breaking the toilet of the Davises or breaking the sink and the dishes of the Millers. That might make sense. Ah, oh, there is actually something for 107. Break their window on the second floor. All right, let's take that. All right, okay, that seems that seems like something we could do. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have a bit of a fun time here because there is going to be someone home. There is someone home 100% of the time in this next residence. And, of course, you do have the time limit of two people potentially returning. All right, so the one problematic thing I see at the moment is that there is someone walking along this path here. Hopefully he's going to leave relatively soon and then I will be able to get into 108. And bear in mind that both of them have left, I think. There is one one person still here, so let's see whether... Does that actually cause them to become alerted? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we do have to be a bit a bit quick here. Not too quick, but a bit quick. And seems like I can't go around here, so we're going to have to go very close to where he is. And this is going to be pretty harsh. Because if he sees me, bad things will happen. Oh, great. Okay, I wish I could... Oh, I don't know, I wish I could get on top of that, but okay, never mind. I guess I'm going to have to use this then. Nope, nope. Yes, there we go. All right. So, basically, that was absolutely a waste of time, going through the fence at the back. Oh, hello. Right. I don't know whether I can get by just normally. Hello. Don't worry about me. He is kind of alerted. Is, is, he, is he calling the cops? Mm, no. Yeah. It, no, he put something in his pocket. He put something in his pocket, and it seems like this is now closed. Great. Okay. Well, we do have to learn... Ah, oh, you know what? Climbing gloves. Yeah. Climbing gloves would have made a huge difference, but I'm going to try and lockpick this. Maybe he'll go back in the garage in a second. Okay, wait. Is he... Oh, he, he doesn't actually see me. He doesn't see me here. I'm going to close it slowly. Okay, come on now. Okay, big TV... Where's the big TV? There's a pricey painting. Oh, this is carrying it? Break or steal a big TV. Where is that? That's actually in... That's actually upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to go upstairs then. Alright, this is for the story mission. Do bear that in mind. If I'm able to do this without getting caught, then I think we'll have a pretty decent time of things. $500, that's a lot. 
Okay, there, whoa, that's a, that's a big TV, and I would like to be able to steal this money as well. Okay, carry this TV. This is going to take me a long time to get out of here, and there is going to be someone coming back in about half the time that I've spent here, so I think I should have enough time to get out. Maybe I can just, you know what, can I, th can I throw this out, out the window? I don't really want to do that, because you never know, maybe it's going to get destroyed, even though technically, you know, breaking it is still going to give me the $500, I'd like to be able to sell it, I, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be too bad a thing for me to be able to sell this, so let me just place it down here, real quick, open this up, okay, let's go. Okay, don't mind me, I am a verified TV carrier. Don't worry about it, everyone. N no? Then, are, are they gonna believe me? I don't know about that, but he's in the garage again, which is pretty bad. But if he moves, which I think he probably will, then that's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, I don't know whether I can put two things. Can I put two things in my... Uh in my uh, in my boot of my car, I don't exactly know whether that's the case. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Even if they suspect me, even if they think I'm a little bit suspicious, that doesn't mean that they're going to call the cops. As long as I don't do anything extremely aggressive or, you know, too suspicious, then I think we should be fine. Break the window on the second floor. Ah. That's for the one. That's for 107. That's 300 dollars. We could potentially do that quite easily. Okay, doing something shady. No, I'm not. I just, uh, I just have this TV here. I'm just taking a break. Phew. Ah, this is a heavy, uh, heavy TV here. Uh, yes, nothing to worry about, sir. All right. Seems like he bought it. He bought it so that I'm a verified TV carrier. No, he didn't. He probably didn't. He just doesn't care. He doesn't care about his neighbors. The tailors, or whoever they are, he doesn't care at all. Okay, so let's place this in here. There we go. And now I'm going to sprint back as quickly as I can, and maybe I'll be able to get that painting. Hello. Don't worry about me, miss. I am just walking very suspiciously. And give me that. Give me this. Give me it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so now... Now it's just a case of walking through the sprinklers so that the painting gets absolutely drenched because I am a professional. I know how to handle art, of course. Everyone's seen the Thomas Crown Affair, of course. And uh, otherwise, I think we're good. Yeah, let me, let me just put it on the dirty pavement. Sounds like a grand idea. I'm actually very much hoping that this is still going to be able to, you know, go into my car. I mean, technically, you'd be able to do this realistically. You would be able to put a TV in and then a painting on top of it or whatever, but uh, I don't exactly know whether the game will allow me to do so. I hope it does. I'm doing something shady. No, I'm not. I just threw a painting at my car. It's my car and my painting. Well, not, not, not my painting, actually. Okay, so there we go. Uh, go in there. Get it. Get in there. Okay, apparently that is not going to go in. That is actually kind of disappointing and I actually thought that it would but uh, I, I guess it is for gameplay reasons because otherwise you could just stack your car full of carryables and you'd probably be able to I don't know get like two thousand dollars in one trip or something like that I actually wonder if I put it here is it gonna stay there <laughs> there's no way there's no way I guess you got to do it in multiple trips or something like that which is kind of sad but well as I say, it's probably a gameplay reason in some in some fashion or another, but oh well, never mind. I, I, I'm, I had a lot of fun trying to seal it as well then, at least. Alright, so we're back at our home and Vinny now wants to talk to us again. You don't want someone to see their own necklace at the pawn shop. You gotta break it down first. Ah, right. Okay, so obviously this is just letting us know that we can learn appraisal level 2 and we can break down jewelry and things to uh, hopefully sell the raw materials, I would assume. Anyway, uh, I think I'm probably going to buy, now that I have about 2,400, I'm probably going to buy the climbing gloves. Am I? I think it's going to make everything kind of much, much easier. But the jewelry tools, 
are 2,600, and I'm very close to getting those. The glass knife as well. So maybe it wouldn't even make sense for me to get the climbing gloves right now. Maybe it wouldn't. Uh, oh well, never mind. Okay, I guess I'm just going to leave it for the moment, and we'll just take a look and see some of these other things here. Damaged you phone. Yeah, yeah, there doesn't seem to be too much here that I really want to go for. Is there anything else? I've accepted this, of course. The tailor's break or steal a decoration. Well, I actually almost did that. I guess I'll do that because that's actually not even a very difficult uh, patrol route that the one guy in there has. So I think that's pretty good. Otherwise, we can now sell this. Oh. Wait a minute, I'm not actually at the pawn shop. Great. I actually thought that I'd already sold the TV, but apparently I hadn't. Anyway, yes, let's go to the uh, go to the shop and we'll sell that. And uh, we've already gotten the 500 for completing the story mission from Vinny, of course. And uh, we're now going to see how much this TV actually sells for, which is going to be pretty exciting because I've never sold something this big or this modern in uh, in the game before. So let's have a look. 700. Wow. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Thank you very much. Now I have more than enough to be able to, well, purchase anything I want, which is pretty fantastic. Okay, so I'm almost level 9 as well. Do bear in mind that I'm going to need appraisal level 2, which will require one skill point. Okay, so technically I could go appraisal level 1 and then level 2 pretty easily, but at level 9 I would also unlock lockpicking level 4. Hmm, I don't exactly know what to do. But anyway, if you'd like to see more of this game, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.